Hi, this is Sweet June. It's Monday morning. I This is actually a, it's a beautiful day out here. I don't want to bore you guys, but uh, I don't, I don't have, I'm not, my face is not ready for the camera right now. <laughs> my hair is a mess. My face is just not ready for the camera. So you guys are going to just going to have to take a look at my beautiful backyard with my little woods I got back here. I'm just going to um, face the camera that way and give you guys those visuals. It's a beautiful morning. Um, it's supposed to rain later on today. I'm off tonight. Um, but it's supposed to rain today. So I don't know um, if I am really going to be able to really do anything today. So I'm trying to just get some things done around the house. This is a remake. Um, I did this video yesterday, actually. Um while I was doing my walk uh, but I had to redo it because uh, it was showing a little bit too much information that I don't want that particularly you guys know how I am I'm kind of private when it comes to um, you know where I live so um, it was showing a little bit too much information on there so I decided to delete it and remake it uh, it's sad because it was a good video but Oh well, it is what it is. So it's this is a remake. Now I have to regather my thoughts of what I was saying yesterday. So bear with me. Um, but anyway, let's give you guys an opportunity to focus on the message and not be distracted by my facial. Sometimes facial expressions and stuff can be a distraction. It can distract from the message. And so I didn't want to do the, this video. It's a little bit long, so I don't want. To, they didn't want to do it completely in the dark. But anyway, just bear with me. What I was talking about was black lives matter mattering to black people. Last week in my city, it's a little cool out here. Last week in my city. There was a double homicide. It, they had a gathering um, across town. Um, it was, um, I think they were celebrating someone's uh, memorial. Um, it was, uh, they was, I think they was acknowledging the birthday of someone that passed away. I don't know exactly all the details, but they was having having a large gathering, of, like a party, um, if you will. Um, it was uh, quite a few people, a large gathering of people at this party uh, over across town. Some guys decided that they would take a gun and just start randomly sh shooting into a crowd of people. And as a result, two young we lost two young black people. We lost a young lady and a young man. Uh, both of them were young, got killed as a result. You know, they went, took them to the hospital, but um, neither one of them made it. Um, they didn't make it. I wonder whose dog this is over here. Somebody's dog is loose. Well, he better not bring his butt over here. Anyway, um, as a result, they lost their life. And... There were protests, there were Black Lives Matter protests going on all over the country. Even in my city, uh, there was a protest. They just had one this weekend on Juneteenth. Um, but that was, it was like a, a, bear, a, a, a motorcade. You know, they were like driving through the various neighborhoods and, and saying Black Lives Matter and showed it on Facebook. Um, but they were protesting all over the country um, after George Floyd's death. Even all over the world. There was protests all over the world. Usually, typically, when there's a protest, like when there's p police brutality, like when Rodney King, you know, if you guys are old enough, you remember Rodney King um, when he got, um, 
brutally attacked by the police down in LA back in the early 90s and those guys got acquitted they rioted real bad down there and um, typically when something like that happens um, they usually riot in that city where the incident take, took place but never I have never seen it this is the first time in my life that I've ever seen a nationwide protest even a worldwide protest of Black Lives Matter so this is this was worldwide people in other countries was doing this and so I thought I don't know maybe I was being naive but I thought that after all this nationwide and worldwide protest and everything that uh, black people would chill out I thought maybe black people would finally get the memo and chill out on killing other black people but I see that it's still happening and I don't understand it I'm, I'm, a bl I'm black and I don't understand it so I know if I'm black and I don't understand it I know white people don't get it this, I don't get it I don't understand it in Chicago not another video I didn't mention that because I didn't know it but I know it now in Chicago there was over this past week, and I think over there was over 60 shootings. Out of those 60 shootings, 11 people died, and they killed a three-year-old baby. Who does that? Who kills a three-year-old baby? Who shoots a three-year-old baby? Who shoots a baby? Who does that? You have to be really a black-hearted individual to shoot a baby. I, I don't understand it. I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Young black lady, I can't remember her name. I think she was African. I think she had an African name. She was a Black Lives Matter protester. Really went up to bat for uh, black men, you know, because mainly when people go out and protest, it's mainly after the death of a, of a black man at the hands of the police. And they mentioned Breonna Taylor. But it's usually when they go to protest, when they are motivated to protest, it's after the death of a black man. You know, um, usually when it happens to black women, um, nobody, we don't get a, a large amount of people out there protesting specifically for black women. Now, I'm just keeping it 100. So what I don't understand, of course, that's another video topic. Now, what I don't understand is, in, in this this double homicide happened right here in my city. And a lot of people have a tendency to think, well, you know, stuff don't happen. Don't break off in smaller cities. No, don't get it twisted. The same things that happen in larger cities happen in smaller cities, but just at a, a smaller scale. It happens in small cities, medium cities, large cities, um, in black communities all over the country. This stuff is taking place. And I don't understand it. I don't get it. I'm black and I don't get it. So I know white people are confused. I thought that after all this Black Lives Matter. And, and, and um, let's you know, talk about why black people say uh, Black Lives Matter. Let's talk about that for a minute. Um, that is being said because historically black lives didn't matter. You know, black and slavery, black, they killed black people as a sport. And historically in this country, if, 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 if whether you're black or white, if you know the history of this country, historically, you know, black lives never mattered. The value of a black person's life is not measured in the same way of a white person's life. You know, our life is not placed as equal value as a white person's life. So that's the reason why that is being said. It's not, it's, not to, it's not to say, we're not saying that all lives don't matter, but the reason why the black lives, uh, people are saying that is because historically throughout this country, black, you know, black people were killed and, and they, you know, and it was no big deal. But then if a white person gets killed, then it's, it's, you know, everybody know the name of the person and everything at the end of the day and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a big deal. So, you know, there, there, there's not as much value being placed on black people's lives 
that it is white people's. If Whether you're black or white, if you understand the history of this country, then you understand why that's being said. Well, not everybody understands. I don't think um, some people don't want to understand, but that's a whole different video. But what, what I don't understand is I don't get is I'm confused. I, I'm confused. I, I, I'm just confused. I don't get it. Black people, you know, out there going around, we saying black black lives matter, matter, and everything. Um, protesting, saying that black lives matter, and everything. But then you look up. I, I look up. I'm still seeing my own people, black people, being killed in the black community. The, the Black Lives activists, I think I got off the subject. The Black Lives young lady, uh, I can't even think of her name. She got raped and killed, and it was by a black man. Because, you know, after we've been hearing about black people but getting hung here lately, and so uh, I thought it was because she was protesting, but it was at the hands of a black man. The very man that she was going up to bat for it's the very men that uh, she got killed by one of them. That's a whole nother video, and um, black women are quite upset about that. I don't understand it. I don't. I don't understand it. I don't understand. It just seems to be a double standard. It seems to be a double standard. It just seems to be when a black person gets killed by. Uh, a white police officer then there's the, all this outrage it's unacceptable and it's all this outrage and it should be outrage because the police shouldn't be doing that but where is the outrage when it happens in our communities where black people are killing black people where is the outrage over 60 people got shot in Chicago over the past weekend 11 died and they killed a 3 year old baby where is the outrage? Where is the people in Chicago that's supposed to be protesting about these black people killing other black people? Where's the outrage? It seems to be a double standard. It's not okay for black people to kill us, but it's okay for black people to kill black people? Let me tell you something. Statistically, and I'm going to use me as a parable. I'm most, more likely to be killed by someone of my own race than I am by a white person or a white police officer. Statistically, that's a st statistical fact. I'm more likely to be killed by my own, some, a member of my own race than I am a white police officer or a white person. And everybody knows, every black person in this country knows that that, that is true. I don't understand it. I'm confused. I thought that after all this protests and nationwide and worldwide protests, I thought that black people was going to turn over a new leaf. Maybe I was being naive. I thought that the black killings was going was gonna to at least slow down. But black people are still killing black people. I don't understand it. If I'm confused and I'm black, I know white people got to be. Totally twisted. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why is it all of a sudden when black lives matter, when a white police officer, a black person is killed by a, 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 a white person, black lives matter. But then when black people are killing other black people, it, don't, it, 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 it doesn't matter as much? I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I don't get it. It starts with us. Black lives, uh, black lives have to matter to us. Or otherwise, it's going to keep happening. It's not going to change. It's going to keep happening. Because you know why? Because they figure if we don't have no respect for our own people's lives, why should they? We get judged as a whole. Everybody know that. And they figure if they don't have respect for their own people's lives, then why should we? It is not going to change. It, it has to, the change has to take place with us first. 
it has to start at home in our own communities. We have to make the change. We got to change. Before we expect them to change, we got to change. We got to stop killing our own people. It's just ridiculous. When are black lives going to matter to black people? I don't get it. Nationwide. I mean, worldwide protest. And either it's these young punks out here doing these killing, killings. It's the young, it's these young people out here doing it. It's either they didn't, either they didn't get the memo, or they just simply do not care. They don't care. And we have to educate our young people. We got to educate, in order to educate our young people, we got to reprogram our mind and educate ourselves. Well, you know, I'm going to get more into death, into talking about that. Uh, I don't understand it. I don't get it. And it's going to keep happening and it's not going to change until we change. Where's the outrage of all these people being shot in Chicago and 11 people being killed? Where's the outrage? The two people in my community that got, the young lady and the young men, men that got killed here in my community. Where's the outrage? I don't see nobody protesting for them. Black people don't, it's like, it's a double standard. It shouldn't be no double standard. Black lives need to matter to us. Because like I said, they, they looking at it like, if they don't have no respect for their own people's lives, why should we? So it's not going to change. So all this protesting is being basically being done in vain. It's being done in vain. Change has to start with us. Even our prayers, even when we pray for about it. I, it's not going to, if, if people aren't willing to make the changes, then, you know, for everybody, no faith without works is dead. Other black people can pray, but in, until our people stop doing the, our killing our own people, change is not going to take place. I hate to say that. I really hate to say it, but it's not going to be. It's not going to change because we, our, we just keep killing our own people. So action speaks louder than words. So they saying, well, okay, they don't have no respect for their own people's lives. They're steady killing their own people. But then they get mad when we do it. That's where they look at it. When is black lives going to start mattering to black people? When are we going to start valuing our own people's lives? And then, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden we care so much when it's at the hands of a white police officer. Yeah, the police, it's, I know it's the principle of the thing. The police is supposed to pr protect. They're supposed to serve and protect. And, and then, But they turn around killing people. I know it's the principle of the thing. But how is it okay for our own people to kill each other? And I know that racism got our people, got black people all screwed up in the head, and I get it. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta reprogram our mind. Black people need to, it's a, a, need, a reprogramming needs to take place in the black community. It is not gonna change. I'm outraged. I'm sick of it. I'm over black people killing black people. I'm over it. I don't want my son to get killed by his own brother. My son has already lost some friends because somebody decided to to kill them. I don't want my sons getting murdered by their own their own brothers. I got to worry about my son being killed by the police, but then I got to worry about my son being killed by his own brothers, uh, somebody of his own race. It's just ridiculous. I got to worry about me being killed by somebody of my own race. That's crazy. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and hit the notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how you feel, what you think.
Black lives need to matter to black people, plain and simple. Okay, I got had to remake this video. I don't know when it's going to get uploaded, probably later on today. Peace and love. This is Sweet June.